welcome to another video. So, there are a bunch of coding agents these days, and all of them are following the path to integrate O1. Recently, Omni Engineer has also followed suit to add support for it. But this is a bit cooler because, if you remember, Omni Engineer uses Open Router for connecting to models, and it utilizes two types of models. It first uses a default model for planning, and then an editor model for generating code and other tasks. Now, the new default configuration of Omni Engineer actually uses O1 Mini as the default model for generating plans, and it then uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the editor model, which should be pretty solid as well. O1 is great at reasoning and doing more in-depth planning, while Claude tends to be better at generating code. So, this combination could be a really good option. We'll see how that plays out. Also, Open Router has updated their limits to about 150 requests per O1 model per day, which is just amazing. Apart from this, as a recap, Omni Engineer is quite similar to Ader, where you can give it a prompt and it can handle code generation, editing, and tasks like that. Plus, it has a variety of modes and features like multi file editing, diff display, syntax highlighting, and more, which is also pretty cool. Since the last video I did on it, there have been some upgrades as well, so we'll test those out too. Anyway, let's check it out and see how it works with O1 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet combined. Let's find out if it can handle things really well or not. First, we'll need to get Omni Engineer installed. To do that, just clone this repo onto your computer. Once you've cloned it, you'll get this main Python file. If you open it, you'll see the configuration and code for it. All of its code is in this one file, and you can customize the system prompts and other settings. You can also change the model if you'd prefer to use something else. By default, it has the O1 Mini model set as the default model and Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the editor model. So, let's just leave it as is. Now before we do anything, just rename the env example file to env and add your open router API key here. Now, let's run it and see. And here's what it looks like. You can see all the commands available, like add, edit, new, search, image, and a bunch of other features. But for now, we want to do something simple. Let's run the new command and ask it to create a new HTML file. As you can see, it has created the file. Now, it's asking what it should generate and place inside the file. So, let's ask it to generate a simple note-taking app where I can see my notes as tiles on the entire page. To add new notes, I'd like a floating section at the bottom where I can type in notes and save them. Make sure it looks sleek and modern using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see if it can do this. Let's wait a bit. It's now done. You can see the code here, which looks pretty cool. Now let's run it and take a look. Okay, this looks pretty good. I don't have any issues with it, so this is cool. I think this combination works really well. Although, I do believe that even if you used Claude for both models, it would still work quite well. And that would likely be cheaper. Aside from this, we can also ask it for edits. So let's do that as well. First, let's use the slash edit command. And now, we'll need to enter the file name we want to edit. Let's input that. Once you do that, it will ask what you'd like to edit. Let's ask it to add an edit option to the file. Let's send it and see if it's good at editing. It's working on it now. Let's wait a moment.
Okay, it's done. You can see it has added some content, which means it has implemented the edit. Let's run it and check it out. Okay, here's the edit, which is amazing. I think it works really well. So, this is super cool. However, we've only tried it with O1 Mini so far. Now, let's change the planner model to O1 Preview while keeping Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the editor. First, let's create a new file and give it the same prompt to make a note-taking app so we can directly compare the differences. It's generating the application now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. You can see the code here, which looks pretty good. Now, let's run it and see. Okay, here's the generated app. I think it's very similar to the previous one. There isn't anything extraordinary here. It seems both the mini and bigger models are similar in planning. So I don't think there's a significant benefit in this configuration. Next, let's try using O1 Preview as the planner, and O1 Mini as the editor. Let's update the configuration here. Once that's done, let's give it the same prompt again. It's working on it. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. Here's the code, which looks pretty cool. Let's run it and check it out. So, this is the result. I think that this is one of the best generations because it's a little more polished. Like it has the add button at bottom and it opens up a modal, which is really good. But, for the cost part, I think this isn't worth the higher cost. But you can definitely use it if you want. It could be better for generating complex applications that Claude or others might struggle with. Omni Engineer is still pretty solid, as it works really well. Although, I still prefer Ader, because I don't have to specify files. It automatically understands what you want to do, and fetches the file accordingly. But this tool is good too. The updates are nice, as previously, it didn't have such intricate features, but now it does. So, if you want to use it, you can go ahead. I think some people like it and use it a lot, which is great for them. Plus, I think O1 Mini and Claude can be a cool combo as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video till then bye